Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues, playing as the New California Republic. Now there's a couple of reasons why I want to play as them, but let us begin with the focus with Honored Founders. Among the historical records of the NCR, there are a number of figures that stand out as a quintessential to the Republic yet. Who among them is most celebrated in propaganda and education? Who shall appear the most important pieces of currency, be mentioned in speeches, and stand above the rest as a figurehead of the NCR? As you can see at the top of your screen here, we are using the CH Hinsha Tool mod, obviously Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, uh, Player of the Peace Conferences, as well as a certain mod that I found that I think would be very fitting for a NCR campaign, which is called Old World Blues Californian Athletics with, and of course we're led by Wendell Peterson, so, he's a political workhorse, and the cap's 3.2 update, okay, uh, mechanics has again expanded in 3.2 update. With a focus on quality of life and optimization, the state node view and global node map has been overhauled to assist you in picking the most lucrative trade routes. In addition, trade income has shifted slight, with more trade flowing around the waist, while white less of it is collected in a node. This tutorial is highly recommended for a first campaign playthrough in version 3.2, along with enabling help tools at the end of the tutorial. Cool. Actually, let's take a look what it, look what it does. Income's pretty much sources. You're in plus three caps from flat income. Now let's go look at how much money we're making. So this is one of the reasons why I wanted to play as NCR, because there's the slight rework of caps and a few other reworks as well. Now let's see, every 92 days, quarterly, you get money or you don't get money, so cool, whatever. Uh, continue, and then the bank and the bill. Uh, top bar, you can obviously see that right here. So the troops currently cost minus 8.47 monies. Well, at least we earn 40-ish caps uh, every quarter, it looks like. Well, overall gross income, quarterly expenses, whatever. Cool. To the new stuff. Okay, so America Universalis can be seen in trade nodes. We kind of know that. Your node income at $70. Ah, uh, it doesn't look too different. As well as caravans, not minivans. Cool. Not quite Nicolas Cage. Okay, so this one's a little, a little different than maybe four. It doesn't look too different on his business. Sorry, I just want to make sure that we understand this um, with this stuff. So, tutorial's brief overview. They can be disabled. Would you like to enable them now? Tool tips. Uh, sure, why not? This is my first campaign. This also, I'll let you know, this is historical as well, so it is what it is. But, but the beloved of the Republic. Among historical records of the NCR, there are a number of figures that stand out as quintessential to the Republic. Yet, who among them is most celebrated in propaganda and education? Who shall appear on the most important pieces of currency, be mentioned in speeches, and stand above the rest as a figurehead of the NCR? The three essential leaders in the history of the NCR are thus zero. Eradash, the founder and father of the NCR. Tandi, mother of the Republic. Seth, the first ranger, the NCR's greatest war hero. Um, I okay. So like, when I played the NCR first, when it, on on this channel, I believe that was literally the first campaign I did in Old World Blues. So that's another reason why I wanted to play as the NCR now, before they get reworked in the 4.0 patch update, whenever that'll come out sometime, hopefully 2021. But I think I went with Tandy maybe because that looks pretty good. I like more political power, but I'm gonna go with Seth, the first ranger, the NCR's greatest war hero. So that'd be kind of cool. Now, we'll check them out real quick, but Tandy scheming. Tandy devoted her life to the cause of the NCR, and early in her life, her ideals faded, and she was faced with honest pragmatism. She made a series of hard choices, many of which do not necessarily earn her the adoration of her people. Let's go back over here and take a look. What was that? Because tech levels, I mean, we're pretty much civilized everywhere except for exploration, or exploitation, because we here in the Republic love to exploit people. And anything else? Oh, it was Seth's Rangers. We get more... Defense, soft attack, hard attack for special forces. Very nice. The mother's lesson. Tandy devoted her life to the cause of the NCR. And early in her life, her ideals faded and she was faced with honest pragmatism. She made a series of hard choices, many of which did not necessarily earn her the adoration of the people. Are the choices she made the most notable are. This, that's exactly the same as the focus. The NCR trooper brings you democracy to this land. The Nevada trade agreement's not bad. Ooh, we actually lose consumer goods. The Water Redistribution Act. Monopolies. The NCR draft. Um... I think we'll have enough manpower, probably, hopefully. Let's go with the trade agreements. It looks like it's going to hurt us more. Let's do that one. Good development of the Republic. Roughly 20 years ago, the NCR Congress proposed one of the most ambitious economic development plans in the history of the wasteland. A large-scale investment into each of the major population centers of the NCR, the quaternary cities of Shady Sands, Daglo, the Boner, and Sacktown. Very cool. So, let's see. Yeah, like I said, I wanted to try out the NCR again. Uh, like I said, they're going to get a rework in 4.0 someday. Now, additionally, even though there's a CAPS update... For, for, like, Old Blues in general, there's now, like, a refugee system or something like that. And a decimation system. So, I kind of want to see what will happen with that stuff. Obviously, we're not going to be decimating too many people. Enough people to make us feel good. But still. 
And the value is 6, 8. This is kind of different. Uh, let's see. Do they change? How much do they change this by? 15, 50, 50. Ooh, that is not bad. That's pretty nice, actually. Flax up would be nice to send stuff. 231. Uh, that would be better to send, but I don't think we have any more uh, free trade nodes. But the NCR investments. The NCR development plan was one of the most hotly debated subjects in NCR political history, as it called for a centralization of what it had up had up until that point been a largely diverse agricultural nation. The d debate raged for months as to whether or not to even bother with this plan, but eventually it was decided that the bill should focus on the development of a specific area of the economy, be it the reconstruction of roads, subsidizing select local businesses, or additional funding towards arms manufacturing. Local businesses, not bad. Arms uh, man armament manufacturing, or improve the infrastructure. I love infrastructure. Let's go cities, though. We love local businesses, especially small ones. The Battle for Navarro. The Battle of Navarro was the first real test of the NCR's military with full congressional approval and a blank check. The NCR formed the most massive military the Wasteland had seen up until that point, an enormous conglomeration of volunteers, mercenaries, and conscripts. Backed by a sizable detachment from the Brotherhood of Steel, they marched on the last holdout of the Enclave. Oh, boy, the Enclave. At least we're making money. That's good. And... And we have a few more things to talk about as well, as to why I chose the NCR. Battle of Navarro. On the eve of the final assault, the acting general of the NCR's army, Alexander Drummond, received a personal visit from the president herself. Tandy made it clear to him that the NCR could not afford a slaughter, and advised him to hold back the majority of his troops during the assault. Meanwhile, the commander of the Brotherhood of Steel had already gotten approved plans with Drummond, a joint attack that was dependent on the NCR providing a sizable distraction. All the while, Drummond had grown increasingly frustrated with the entire situation and knew that he might regain much of his lost honor if he over ordered an overwhelming charge and claimed the majority of Navarro's treasures for the NCR, a reckless move that could save his career. He held back her troops. Ooh, that does not look good. He committed them to the Brotherhood's plan. He recklessly pushed for over an overwhelming NCR assault. We actually lose minus 1% recruitable population factor. That seems like that would be the choice I would not make in my first campaign. So let's take that one. Then we're demobilizing. Oh boy. Oh, that's not good. Eh, that's alright though. Uh, let's see. Council Hill. The Senate has always been the center of the Republic. Many of the Republic's most influential members are a part of the Senate. Giving them a place worthy of their status will not only give hope to the people of the Wasteland, but also appease the secretly greedy and narcissistic senators that will fill the seats in the, as the newly christened Council Hill. So... Uh, so, like I said, there's like a new ref, like a decimation system, a refugee system. Maybe we'll get to see some of that when Kaiser takes out other enemies, as well as Lanius's cohort, because Lanius' cohort got a little bit of a rework apparently with his focus tree, so it's a little bit more tidy now, or something like that. Maybe a little more expanded. So, oh, the Eastern Legion that can actually lead the Legion. Okay, and the March West to conquer. Oh no, you changed the Kaiser's Legion. Okay, that's kind of cool. And as well as, the Summers Federation actually has a unique focus tree. Ooh, that's kind of cool. The Legacy of the Centurion Polis, led by Riley Morrison. And they, as you see, it's a unique focus tree with offloading our advanced salvage. The Federation's win big and awarding a hero. And performing a deep back. Cool. So, that's actually really cool. So, we definitely have to play some sometime. Not sure when, but eventually. Alright, so, like I said, Old World Blues was... In Old World Blues, the NCR was my first campaign. So I figured, you know what, let's come back and play some, just so I, I might be able to do better than this time. Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe I should do worse. I'm obviously choosing decisions that don't really benefit us that much, but what do we have here? Colonel Royas, All-American Bad Dude? Not bad, not bad. Gen General Oliver, General. Tactician, Major Abbott. Uh, what do we have around here? C Ruthless Capitalist, uh, Dodge. That's five versus not great, not bad. All Good Murphy, that's okay. What about down here? Hayes, uh, Barons of the NCR, Imperialists, of course, Senator McCoy, Abigail Lewis, that's not bad either, and we have Modest Economy, oh my goodness, anything special or different, oh no arms, no, nothing really different or unique here, darn it, well, I guess we'll have to go with conventional warfare, won't we, expand the NCR military administration, civilian workshops, and the capital fund, why not. The city of Shady Sands is one of the largest in all the NCR, with an immense population strategically located on the border of Nevada, atop a dried lake bed that provides fresh water to this day. It is a center of trade and economic prosperity within California each year. Immense amounts of wealth are poured into this ever-growing metropolis, and today is no exception to that rule. So I don't exactly remember which one, what is historical here, because I've played pretty much as every single nation, not every single nation, but a lot of the nations here in Old World Blues, but not the NCR after the few updates that since the first campaign and this campaign, so... We'll see. Legacy of the Navarro looks pretty bad for us. Followers' influence. Nevada trade agreements, which hurts us. Uh, Seth, which is not bad. 
Retooling Firearms Production, which is kind of weird, okay. Brahmin Barons, not bad. Not great. Decentralized Bureaucracy, the Treaty of New Vegas as well, and Ranger Unification Treaty. So we really favor Special Forces instead of Power Armor, which is okay, whatever. Oh, look at this! Potato Power Armor. Veteran Power Armor. Is this an April Fool's joke, maybe? Maybe not. Um. Alright. Okay. Why not? Why not? Thank you, Shady Sands. You know what we love in California? Bears. Look at that bear. Look at that bear. A nice little animal. After the Capital Fund reorganized expeditionary forces, might as well. With the recent expansion of the Mojave, the NCR's expeditionary branch of the Army's war wary, undersupplied, and regarded as an unpopular posting within the military. Signing off new funds for equipment, recruiting, and morale would do well to boost their status. Good idea. Eh, let's grab some of that. Tool procurement, why not? Now, I don't remember. I, I looked it up on the Reddit and stuff. Can the NCR still fall into civil war? That's my question. Can we still fall to civil war? I don't really know. I kind of want to say... Yes, but I like I said, I have no idea. It sounds like it sounds like fun. Maybe we should try to gun for the Civil War. But then again, has it been taken out? I don't really know. Yeah, and look at that. Uh, who is that? Brigadier General, uh, Br Commanding Officer Brigadier General Thompson. What upgrades does this person have? Oh, well, why did wait? Why did? They, uh, what if there's supposed to be lines here? Route established for twenty three. Okay, uh, from New Vegas. Oh, that's from other people. That's cool. Yeah, why don't we get to see the lines that branch out here? That makes it so much easier to see. Okay, whatever. Mm, I do like inspirational quite a bit. I'm going to grab that anyways. And let's grab... I love Savage Savage Leader. 5% max planning for that. Eh, it's not really worth it. Mm, recovery rate isn't bad either. It's good. I'm going to go Rooted. I'm going to go Sa Sa Savage Leader as well. All right, anything else? Yakima. Military High Command, we already kind of saw this stuff. I'd love to switch this stuff around. Do we get refugees at all? That'd be kind of cool. Gun runner deal. Man, construction speed 5% though. That's not really worth it. But since we got them, we're going to go with it anyways. Cool. And I'll put you guys down here. Why not? Let the entire army train. Shields Army Legion. Very nice, very nice. Hopefully I don't... Oh, the Wendell P Peterson's War. Oh, we have freedom of speech. I guess we believe in freedom of speech here. Eh, not bad for industry. Not, still not too bad. So much money are we making? 73? Yeah, good. Very nice. Kingpin Greed. Okay. Also, yeah, the, so the 3.2 update actually called this, instead of Monster of the East for Lanius now, it, it's now called Liberty or Death, as you so, saw probably on the thumbnail. And also, this is on historical, just because I wanted to like this. So, Wendell Peterson's War. Wendell Peterson believes, above all other things, that the future of the NCR lies on the frontier. Raiders, tribals, and paladins be darned. To this end, he has spent much of his first year in office drumming up support for the ambitious frontier expedition, which is meant to bring as much of California under the NCR's control as possible. Yet, in order to make such a dream a reality, he is going to have to deal with various political parties. Each pushes their own agenda, and each wants to put up their own figurehead in the most ambitious post in the NCR's military. Yet, it is only with the support that Peterson can gain the congressional votes he needs to launch the expedition. General Drum Mossman, Big Jim Marshall here in Nevada, the Baron's Choice. Well, I think this by selecting the like different like routes for each one of these, like you could end up in a civil war. So maybe we'll do that. I don't. I don't remember the one I chose the last time I played. Oligarchy, Drummond's demands. I might have went with that one early on. I, Ranger deployment, Ranger ultimatum. I kind of want to go just straight technocracy though. Hmm, Baja integration. The state of... I don't like... I know I didn't go this one. I did not like that one. I want more war, but... Uh, what is this? Exodus of wealth. Democracy. Autocracy. I kind of want more... What is this? This is technocracy. Technocracy. Democracy. Uh, autocracy? Is that supposed to be autocracy when you have the steel deal? NCR buyout. I want to go, I don't know, maybe I'll just go straight technocracy. The Ranger General. We'll go with Mossman. Did I get Mossman last time? I might have got Mossman last time. I can't remember. I, I, we'll go with that one. The men and women of the Daeglo support the NCR Rangers utterly. And as such, do, so do the most powerful politicians of Daeglo, including the mayor, 
Grant C. Hayes, advocating for Ranger priority in this expedition, the mayor promises to give Peterson his full support in exchange for some reforms and the appointment of a new Ranger General from Daglo. Cool. Ah, uh, going to begin the scavenging program. That's fine. No worries. We want to get a lot more money so we can do this stuff. And we're also helping follower, asking followers for help. That's fine. To procurement, improve draft standards. Might as well. The NCR Rangers have complained for decades about the poor quality of the men and women brought in by the NCR draft. Often, one sees malnourished junkies or individuals with insignificant mental health being given a gun and asked to die for the nation. An improvement of the drafting standards should end this problem. Cool. Yeah, we are the NCR. I'm gonna be, oh, actually slightly mobilizing a little bit more now with reorganized Expeditionary Corps. But, we'll see. Because usually in a lot of my campaigns, you see the NCR just being numb nuts, and I want to make sure they can do actually kind of okay. Very little is known about the NCR Ranger veteran known as Mossman. He's a loyal friend of Grancy Hayes, a stout supporter of the state of Daglo, and a veteran of countless battles on the NCR's frontiers. He's also a capable choice for commander of the expedition, despite his obscurity and has the absolute trust of the NCR Rangers due to his seniority. Nice. Oh, well... We automatically have the followers influence here, so I guess that makes sense, I guess. Oh, we have a lot of PP. Bastion of Democracy? Eh, I guess. You know what? I never choose something like this. Let's go with that one. Well, then again, we're trying to go get to the Old World Party, so... Hmm. Rapid Annexation. Further Rapids? Nice. Uh, do we want... How hard do we want them to hit us? You guys go up here, actually. And you guys will get a new general. You guys go down here. We have no planes either, which kind of sucks. But whatever. And we should have... Oh, General Ranger, General Mossman. He's kind of handsome. God dang. Arthur? Oh, you can only... <sighs> He's got tight nuts. Don't you hate it when you got tight nuts? He's intelligent, though. That's nice. Wait, why is this kept to 20? Is it because of the military? It might be because of the military, maybe. Yeah, you're all caught. Why is it kept to 20? What the heck? Maybe I should read more into this, but whatever. There you go. Wood working? Well, how about we grab some planes? We're going to need some planes where we're headed. Oh, hold on. Whoa, what is this? Gain national spirit? Fighter production costs. Now, that's new. That's really new. Okay. Let you know, I haven't, I haven't tried out the new update at all. So, anything I we see here is new. Like, anti-air. Oh, that's going to ruin my strategies for most campaigns. <laughs> no. Oh, no, 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 no. Anything else different and new here? Oh, boy. Oh, that, that hurts. That hurts me on the inside. Anti-air? Rapid annexation, though. Across the Colorado River lies Kaiser's Legion, a rapidly expanding nation with a penchant for absorbing and annexing independent tribes. On our side of the Colorado lies the Rapids, a stern independent tribe that runs from Los Algodones all the way up to the Tumble Home. Were the Legion to cross in the south and attack them, our heartlands would be exposed. Thus, we must take matters into our own hands and annex the Rapids. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we're getting corners. That'd be really nice. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Cool. And we currently get 1.61 political power every single day. Not bad. Uh, research speed might be... Yeah, 10 political power is not bad. Medical tech companies, we probably don't need that. I'm going to go outside our auxiliaries anyways, probably. Unless that they fix that. I won't get more daily compliance, which won't really matter too much. But it, it is what it is. Whatever. Do we have another general here? Let's grab another one. Roy Reynolds. Go. That seems very weird that we can choose all of these. That seems. That doesn't seem right, at least to me. We should not be able to do that, but whatever. 30, 73. At least we got a little bit of caps. That's kind of nice. Warrior training is nice. Let's grab some crawl control. Yeah, those aren't slave collars. It's crawl control. I mean, land auction would probably have to go battle plans. I mean, it would make sense if we didn't go conventional warfare. And we will be using a few of these bikes. Actually, you guys go down there. Uh, motorcycles, just because we can. It gives you a slight bit of armor. We'll use special forces as well. Inspirational is good as well. That, uh, why can we use that for everyone? We should just be able to go right on in. Alright, open up the eastern route for the divide. Why not? The route through Mountain Springs. The Mountain Springs could make for a major trading and supply route, but at the current moment, the settlers inhabiting the divide have blocked all of our attempts to move materials into the Mojave. This cannot stand, and I do apologize for my desk. It's very kind of creaky. Send a, oh, that's different too. Send a Cap's gift. Who is this? Shania Welby. Hello, sign me up for Shania. Um, riding the white water. Fierce independence. Can't imagine trying to survive against these guys. Trade expedition. Nothing here I see too much. Okay, let's go to war.
I want you guys to help out here and just go zoom, 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 zoom. If you can. Of course, if you can. Exploration for technology. If you agree with that, about that, please go right ahead. If you guys want to come in, that I don't really care. Sure, why not? Oh, no. He got his own portrait, too, didn't he? Well, there's General Lee Oliver. Very cool. Nice. Hey, an encirclement. Very good. Get all that army XP. And they should collapse. Oh, very soon. Oh, I went the wrong way. Here, you guys go. Uh, you can go there if you really want to. It doesn't really matter. Oh, these guys are all going to die. That's kind of nice. Oh, look at this. That's a different icon. Refugees. Oh, there we go. In the last 60 days, 2,700 refugees have fled before our conquering armies. Zero refugees have come to settle in our states. That's kind of cool. That's a little different. There we go. We didn't even need Tumble Home. Nice. That's, that's definitely different. I wonder if they have a... Is this going to try to be like Imperator Rome? Where you're going to try to get a... Um, you know, populations and such? That'd be kind of cool, actually. I need to play that game some more sometime. I've tried it in my own free time, but... I haven't played it very much. I'd like to, though. we got plenty of anti-tank, actually. Wow. i right, go down to two them. And we'll grab some more crowd control, because we're going to need some. And as you see, we do have a navy as well, so... There you go. Train indefinitely. Not bad. Pretty good. Um, I don't think I really care too much about this, so there you go. And there you go, as well. Caps income report. Sale 75 is pretty good. We get... Ooh, we are at a good point. Let's get a little bit more political power first. Capture the... On historical. I think the war is supposed to win, but okay. And now we're at 79%, which is actually really good. And once you get to 80%, you can no longer use political actions to get even more political power. But that is okay. So we'll do boom, boom, thank you. Why is it kept at 20? Unless it's a new Old World Blues rule. Maybe it is. I don't know. All right, just go ahead and get ready to go. I don't think these guys will really be able to stand up to us. So, But I could be very, very wrong. And no matter what, I don't care what the devs say. I want planes. I want planes, man. All we have are a single glider right now, but we will have more planes soon. Oh. Oh, boy. Another light cruiser. Nice. Open up the eastern routes. Very good. And rabbit at settlement. Now that the rabbits have been pacified, we should invest settlers and farmers into the area to strengthen our hold on this territory. It'll be costing both manpower and industry, but in the end, we should have a firm grasp on the area. And we get some weekly manpower goes down. Month population. Who cares? Get some cores. Los Algodones, we're named to Farmville. That's an old Facebook game. Is this? Do people still play that? Tumble Homes are named to Tanda Town. Tanda Town. God, this seems so weird with him looking at us like that. It's so weird. He's like staring into my soul. Ah, let's go ahead, and anyways. More army XP? No. Are they doing last stand at all? I kind of would like it if they did last stand. That way you kill more of them. Because if you ain't killing your enemies, are you really playing the game? And we don't have enough anti-tank on these guys, obviously, either, so. Uh, let's see. These guys aren't super great. There you go. You can have some of that and have some more guns. Guns make the world go round. And, oh, you guys are only eight combo with? Oh, my goodness. Not very good. Now is that? No, 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 no. Oh, what got a buffoon would want that? Eight combat. What? No, thank you. Motorized. Here, get some more motorized on your motorized. Oopsie. Nope, wrong one. Fingers, where are you going? You gotta click on the right stuff. There you go. And actually, see our rangers? There you go. Cool. Um, for most things, if I'm going to do things ahead of time, it's probably going to be actual research speed. And something we really, really, really need. I should have said my motorized doing this. What the heck am I doing? What the heck are you guys doing? You guys look really bad, but it's alright. Just cut these guys off, man. There you go. That's all I had to do. Oh. Okay. How about y'all heading to here? There you go. We lost 30, 40 guys versus 600. Not too bad. There you go. Poor divide. Oh. Sorry, Mojave Territories. You ain't gonna get too much from us. Nice. Let time go on as well. Might as well. Since it's historical, we should get the NCR... Uh, or NCR. 
Desert Rangers in here. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I do know we go to war with Umbra as well, too, so. How many refugees do we scatter? Three refugees. Oh, came to settle in our lands. Let's see. Oh, let's take a look. So, trade node. But what do we do with refugees? Like, can we see how many refugees we have? Can we see, like, you know, how much we've decimated an area, maybe? Let's take a look. Uh, if we hover over this, is there anything here we can see at all? I don't think so. I don't know. We're probably out of guns, right? Eh, actually, that's not too bad. We'll grow that so fast enough, so. Treaty with those guys. Fund the Mojave Crimson Caravan. I like that. I like more money, please. Arms workshops are not bad. Stuff on the right will explode. Or stuff on the left, I should say, will explode eventually. Boneyard. The Bear Roars. That's nice. Alamo Chapter is very cool. Uh, let's get some more money. I want more money. Uh, but to get down... Ooh, Manifest Destiny Realize. Uh, develop the Eastern Route. Now that we've pacified Mountain Springs and have access to the trade route, we can go about laying down infrastructure and digging wells. This will both endear the local population to us and make transportation of goods easier. Pretty nice. Get some more water, get some more infrastructure. I love infrastructure. Motorized slide is pretty good as well. We need... Oh, we actually have to get barrage balloons now. One-time use. Oh. Uh. Uh, exclamation mark N, these balloons will expire after having completed a mission. See now when when Old World Blues 3.0 came out, up, the update came out, you didn't they didn't tell you that. They're just like, oh, wh why are the numbers going way down? We can produce a lot of them, but why do the numbers go down? Well, we were never told. Oh, maybe I did do Did I did do General Mossman last I might have done him last time. Huh. I can't remember, man. Anyways, I'm waiting for the update anyways to hit for uh, four someday. Someday we will have an update. But unfortunately, we're still the NCR, which means we can't justify on other people because we need 100% world tension. Come on, Legion, kill, kill some people. Please, 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 please kill some more people. Which sounds terrible if you don't understand overall blues, but even, then again, whatever. Whatever. Sometimes I say too much. Why are we making six divisions? Make it, make it, mm, make it four. We'll make it four. So, twenty combo with anything else here? Fire teams? Yeah, I think I want to maybe use fire teams for this episode or this campaign. Go ahead and do that. That's fine. Nice. Can we throw any more special forces on here, please? Here? No? Yes? Ah, yes. Very good. Very good. Fund the Mojave Crimson Caravan. With an increase in supply and easier access to the Mojave, various firms have shown interest in opening offices in the frontier. The Crimson Caravan is one of them. With a bit of funding, we can prop up their efforts. Very nice. 93% stability. Now that is quite bueno. We could invest stimulus. New system care package. Meh. I prefer doing this. This is a store. Beale Air Force Base. How about that? Not bad. Resistors. Very good. Nice. Battle plans. And they'll probably go through fortifications, because why would we not choose anything else? Going down automated warfare would be a most terrible idea. Not bad. Point one a day. Eh, that's not great. There you go. Have fun. Barrage balloons are very good. Get some biplane fighters. Thank you very much. Keep training everybody if you need to, because you probably all do need to. Ooh, 28 refugees have come to settle in our states. Is there a map mode for this? Is there is there a map mode or something that we can see maybe? Nope. That's a big sadness. Oh, good. Are you over here? In the meantime, after this one, I do kind of want to go to Manifest Destiny Realized as fast as possible, so... Treaty of San Francisco. The Shi have been a stalwart ally of the NCR for some time now, helping the Republic in its early years fight off old world raiders and criminals. Perhaps it's time we solidify our cultural exchange program into a treaty? Sounds like it's very nice. Get more caps? That'd be very nice. Crimson Caravan? We love the Crimson Caravan. Sometimes. Executives, go bye-bye. Help them out. Local workspaces? Very good. Ah, grab some more construction speed. What are we building? What are we doing here? Mm, not bad. 15. At least we got one on 15. That's pretty good. Anything else around here? We still oh, want to go growing economy, but whatever. All American dude. Core territory. We're going to be fighting in a lot of ter territory that isn't core, so. Oh, we have to wait for General Oliver to die, but probably he's not going to. More division organization is pretty good. Tactician. Supply consumption goes down, which I like a lot. But you know what? Let me know in the comments below. Which way should we go for the military high command? Major Lawrence, Colonel Royas, Ranger Elith, Major Abbott, or Sky Fletcher? Let me know in the comments below. What else do we have here? Tariffs? Ruthless capitalists. And now we love money. 
Gunrunner opinion goes up by quite a bit. And more infantry gets more stuff. I kind of like that, but we can't choose them right now. So we're going to go with Reuben Burton. Man, Reuben sandwiches are really tasty. Hmm. I want more money that way. Not going to help us that much, but whatever. I don't really care. Well, good job, guys. Good job. Up next, we're probably going to do expand the frontier. Oh, we'll get a war for Umbra. War, war Let's expand the frontier first. The Umbra tribe has been raiding their caravans traveling along the northern banks of California for some time. We should put them in their place and penalize them for harming NCR citizens. Great idea, my friends. Great idea. Uh, if you like to read about that, please go right ahead. We ain't going to do that right now. We don't have time for that. Or the resources, probably. All right, grab some decryption. That'd be very nice. Guys, go ahead and stop training. Get some more organization. And just go ahead and touch touch them. No, don't touch them. They're filthy. Blow them up. Man, we get... This is so much pee, -pee. But then again, we're moving pretty quickly. But 1.65 every single day is really good. Tolchonski is pretty good to do. And what happened over here? Nine refugees. What can we do with the refugees? Can we beat them? Can we add them to our economy? Ooh, Alvaron. Tribal unification. That's kind of cool. Guidance from the spirits. Wow, plus 12% political power gain. Trade with the royals. Pretty cool. Winter gods. Shaman legend. Era war warlord. Or era war. Elder the first. Okay, cool. And that one, since we have all of our armies up here anyways, we might as well settle the north. There are a slew of poorly defended cities on our north and northwestern borders. If we acted fast... We could seize them from their unsuspecting owners without risking a full, without rising a full-on war with them. Risking a full-on war with them. Hmm. And we should be able to go to war at very, very Settling the rapids, that's good. So stop losing all that weekly manpower. Not much, but that's alright. Ah, good. I could just go right on in, guys. Settle the north. Oh, peace conference. Warden, goodbye. Goodbye. And we'll do negotiate for scrap, heap, and tea kettle once we get some more research done and some planes finished. Drop by attackers, yes, please. Ooh, no, thank you. Thank you. The Ranger State is one constantly mired in warfare with surrounding gangs and tribes with little to produce and much of their budget going towards the military. They may be willing to sell a few of their territories for caps. We can purchase scrap, heap, and tea kettle. Oh, that's why uh, when you play the Desert Rangers, Vault City. Not Vault City. The NCR is always like, let me buy, let me buy. And I'm like, no, no, this is my land. I need as much manpower as possible. Which I think I've done all three routes for the Desert, Desert Rangers before, so I can't remember. I think I did, though. Right, if you like to read about rats, please go right ahead. 1,500 refugees have fl fled for almost good. They should fear us. Fear us. Not bad. Pretty easy. Um, if that's the case, let's go in and put you guys right next to Klamath and intimidate Klamath. Kind of nice. And you guys come over here. Maybe want to train as well. I don't care. Uh, okay, quarter time out. That's not bad. How are we doing on water? Water? You know what? Screw it. Let's get some more water. And a building saw. That's, that's honestly look more important than the uh, water right now. So, 15 8. Not bad. Settle the north and negotiate for the towns. We're going to need more money though. Which is fine. You know, we always need more money. God, tell me about it. I always need more money. Jesus. Uh, but, mm, a little bit ahead of time. That's looking pretty good. Ooh, allergies. Huh. Look at that. Proximity munitions. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Potato power armor. I can't believe that's a real thing now. What do you want? I got some of that. Flexible designs. Why not? Field fortifications. They'll do coordinated assault. Nice. There we go. Oh, upgrades. Yes, please. Negotiate. We would love to negotiate. Um, oh, the defense online. Great. We lose some research speed for two months. Oh, look at this. NCL Frontier Wars. Such so a border war between Redding and Chester. Well, is that Etna? Northern Reaches. Redding. And the Den. Medford. Oric. Oh, there's now Core. Oh, that'd probably be a good thing to do. Take the den. Oh, that's there. So, over here and here. Okay, that's kind of cool. Well, are, are our divisions ready to go and fight like that? 
Wow, no, no. But everything else is pretty much yes, except for support equipment. We could try it, maybe. Uh, let's do... Ooh, we do have anti-tank, so that's good. And take the den. Let's do Medford first. There you go. Let's see how they react. We need more political power, too. We won our fight on the frontier province. Every enemy forces have been pushed back. We can now take control. Cool. We don't have a coronet, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, you guys are all supposed to go there ish. Cool. Also, take over Petro Chico. All right, all right. I guess we take, take over the den. Give them a few seconds. They need to get some more organization before we push them any further. Uh, we need to save more money as well. But maybe we're going to restore Nath El Centro. Yes, please. Twin mothers, goodbye. There you go. Not bad. Nice. Annex it immediately. Great. Pretty easy. Led by. Uh, yeah, Mossman's cool and all, but that looks a little cooler. Uh, what do we want? Five, five. There you go. Five. That'd be kind of good, right? Five, five, five. Negotiate for the scrap heaps. And let us do. Manifest Destiny Realized. The old world idea of Manifest Destiny is that our nation is so great in its ideals and practice that surely it will spread as far as the continent will let it. Is it an idea that we can capitalize on by hoisting our recent frontier successes into the spotlight? Just why Rogel Sounds goes way down. Great. We upgrade our economy law from modest economy to growing economy. What's not to love? Let's beat more people up. Oh, we can expand more people? Oh, we can purchase stuff too. Civilize it then. Oh, that'd be really good to do. I'm expanding to Chester, though, but Chester is right here, so we want to, what, purchase, 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 develop. Let's get back down here, guys. Nice. Uh, maybe we'll just ask if we get... Um, we can probably wait. Let's see. Can we purchase tea kettle? Okay! Nice. 2,500 more refugees have fled from us? Nice! This is great! This is easy! <laughs> Not bad. Of course, it is the NCI, what do you expect? Expand into Chester? Why not? Yeah, that's going to be much more difficult, because the... Ooh. What's going on? What happened? Did we... We lost, or... Um... Are these guys... Oh, th no! Wait, hold on. They, jo they joined our faction. Okay, so instead of us taking Chester, which sucks, they just joined our faction. That's kind of stupid. But, you know what? I guess it's okay. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Alright, whatever. And we're going to do next. Yeah, that's fine. Go and do that one. Another division. Not bad. Y'all go need, uh, what was it? Arthur Eden? I think it was you. Ranger. Let's go. Took some more stuff. Nice. Very nice. And I think we'll finish this episode with two more focuses. We'll read one. Oh, the Baja Blues. Over 30 years ago, the NCR attempted a colonization of the Baja Peninsula, which ended violently for all parties involved since that day, increasing tensions have led to conflict along the border. A conflict that has turned to boil over time and time again. Even now, ambitious writer gangs from the Baja muster to threaten the NCR's borders. But first, I think I want to select... Not the Boneyard. Eh, not that one either. I think I want to select... I'll go and expand the NCR Military Academy. In the center of the NCR, not far off from the Hall of Congress, one can find the Military Academy, a hive of activity where one can always spot dozens of men and women undergoing rudimentary military drills in the fields. One can also find inspiring officers in the middle of extensive education and the essentials of combat and team management within well-used classrooms. But, my friends, hope you enjoyed today's first episode as we take another glimpse and look at the NCR. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow as we'll see what the NCR has in store for us. And maybe go to war with the Baja Californians as well as maybe a few shiny boys. Thanks for watching though and have a great rest of your day.